In this short video, I will make a quick comparison of power consumption between popular flashcards for Game Boy Advance. These are EverDrive GBA, EZ Flash Omega and the standard game card from Nintendo. I will be using game Yoshi's Island as it is one of my favorite games. So let's measure the power. First game is standard Game Boy cartridge, uh, which I am connected to my linear power supply, supplying 3 volts and uh, playing my Game Boy Advance with uh, AGS 101 mod, LCD mod. So the game consumes about 0.24 watts or 80 milliamperes. It doesn't change as the game is played, so consumption is, is, is practically constant. Okay, let's put in some flashcard. Now, playing the EverDrive GPA, you can see it, it sticks out from the, from the game slot. It consumes only 20% more. It consumes 100 million pairs at 3 volts, which is not much, of course. The power consumption is 0.3 watts. Okay, let's put in the last cartridge, which is Easy Flash Omega. And now the Easy Flash is in. Uh, now I realize that I don't have the Yoshi's Island on the Easy Flash, so, so I will be using uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. But the power consumption is the same. Uh, it doesn't depend on the game, it depends only on the hardware of the flash card. So the consumption is the same. And the consumption of the Easy Flash is significantly higher. It's 150 milliamperes, which is which is which is uh, practically double the power consumption of the standard Game Boy card. So the Easy Flash is the more most power hungry of all the cards. It it consumes. 100% more than the standard card. So the playing time will be half of the time you play on the standard card. And the uh, Crix EverDrive GBA, GBA is just 20% more than the standard card. So it's much better power management by the uh, EverDrive than with the Easy Flash Omega. So it it is really it is really a, a, a lot. So let's transfer this power consumption into a playing time. If you are using the Eneloops Pro like I do, which are the most powerful batteries out there, they said the the the, the their capacity is two two thousand and five hundred milliampere hours. But when used with GBA, uh, it doesn't have such high capacity. It uh, GBA uses only 2,000 milliampere hours from it, so uh, GBA doesn't drain it uh, till the end. So by using these inner loops, and by using standard card, you have approximately 25 hours of gameplay. That is approximately two days. Using the GBA game on the GBA you have about 20 hours of gameplay so approximately 20% less and using the Easy Flash 4 you have only 13 uh, 13 hours of gameplay which is half the the gameplay with the standard uh, with the standard game cartridge that's it that was a quick comparison uh, between power consumptions and the game playing between between popular flashcards and the uh, standard uh, comparing it comparing it to standard Game Boy cartridge. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.